Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotional Bible studies and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. You're welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel. If you're new around here, kindly click the subscribe button. And again, I would ask that you click the notification bell. That way you don't miss it when a new video drops. You're welcome to our day 49. Wow, what a journey. In day 49, we are reading through Isaiah chapter 41 all the way to Isaiah chapter 43. The theme for today's discussion is the chosen of the Lord. I always like to drop this encouragement that the goal is for you to study the word as frequently as possible. As you grow consistently in this habit, you would find out that it becomes a part of you. Okay, so join me as we delve into today's study. The chosen of the Lord, what a powerful, very powerful theme. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8 to 16. It says, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. It goes on to talk about the fact that God has chosen you. God has not cast you away. You know, there are so many, when I was reading through, because the long reading, you need to take time and study this for yourself. It talks about, it says a lot about how God perceives us and the, the, um, the love that he has for us, how deep that love is. Let's go to verse 10. It says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. Hallelujah. I, I read through this and I, I made some bullet points, um, bullet points along where it says, you know, some reassuring words. God will strengthen me. God will not, um, God will turn around situations. Um, God is my redeemer. Look at what we just read now. God will uphold you. You know what it means to uphold something? It's like you're carrying, you're carrying and, you're carrying someone and then you're leaving your hand there. You're upholding. God is going to just take you and put you there in place. He's not just going to lift you. He's going to hold you in place to uphold you with his, you know, with his hand. That is amazing. With his right hand of righteousness. I am, I'm very, I'm very, um, very happy that God has a lot of promises, a lot of, a lot of blessings for us. If only we believe, you know, we are chosen of the Lord. There are so many blessings. When we study the word, we are encouraged to, you know, to study. We are hopeful. Our faith is increased. Our faith is bumped up. All right. It goes on to say, behold, all they that were incest against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. This is so according to the word in Psalm chapter 35 and verse 1. And he says, there are always going to be people who, no matter what you do, they would always be incensed against you. There are always going to be people who are anti, who are antagonists, who are not for you, who are not your tribe. It's okay. All right? The, the thing is, your hands are clean and you, you have God in you. You have God working for you. You have God on your side. That is the most important. You are living a life that honors God. You're living a life that pleases God. When we live that kind of a life, when we live the life that God has prepared for us, when we live with all our hearts genuinely come to him, God has his ways of fighting his battles. He has a way of fighting his battles. That's why he said, you know what? All those people who are incest against you, they're going to be ashamed. They will perish. Yes, they would always come together in their locks, in their clusters. But the assurance that we have is we would not bow down our head to the wicked. That's what the word says. All right? That's what the word says. He said, thou shalt seek them and not find them. Even them that contend against thee, they, they, that war against thee shall be as nothing. So you don't need to worry about them. Has the world told you you're not good enough? Have they said all kinds of negative words and negative, uh, negative comments about you? Do not worry about that. Okay? That's not something for you to worry about. The Bible says you shall seek them and you will not find them. They shall be as nothing. Absolutely nothing. So why do we worry about nothing again? 
So there's nothing to worry about, okay? There's nothing to worry about, nothing. <laughs> All right. It says, fear not, thou warm... Um, okay, let's go to 13. 13. Verse 13 says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto you, fear not, I will help you. And whoever is helped of the Lord, there is nothing on earth that would come against them. There is nothing on earth that would overcome them because they are helped of the Lord. Because you are helped of the Lord. There's nothing to be afraid of. He says, fear not thou warm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help you. What a reassurance. What a reassuring word that God has given us. Um, I, I'm encouraging you, if you've not gone through Isaiah chapter 41 to 43, make sure you get into it, okay? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4. We've got more encouragement there. It says, since thou was precious in my sight. Now, this is my favorite verse, okay? From this reading, but today's reading is my favorite verse. Where he says, since thou was precious in my sight. That means I'm precious in God's sight. You are precious in his sight. That's what the word says, and I believe it. I believe it, okay? It goes on to say that thou has been honorable. God has honored you. You have God's honor. Wow, what a, what a powerful word. It says, and I have loved you. There's a difference when someone says, I love you, and I loved you. God is telling you, I have loved you. That means before you come to that realization, before you come to that understanding, God has given us his love. From when we were in the womb, God has loved us. Uh, his love for us is unconditional. His love for us transcends our human understanding. It is beyond what we think. It has no boundary. It is boundless love. That's what he has for us. He has loved us. In spite of our mistakes, in spite of our flaws, he knows that we are frail, we are weak. He knows that we are full of errors and flaws. Yet his love, his abundant love, his gracious love, his compassionate love, his boundless love, his limitless love. Oh my goodness. His love is there for us, unconditional. Hallelujah. He goes on to say that, therefore, I give men for you and people for thy life. That is how precious you are. If you're listening, I just want you to realize how precious you are in the sight of God. God does not play with his people. He doesn't play. Okay? He's not joking with you. You are the apple of his eyes. He's so concerned about everything that, con that has to do with you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, it says, what is man that you are mindful of him? God is so mindful of us. You are precious in his sight. When I was going through this, I thought about writing up a new set of affirmations because I've got a 30-day affirmation written for teenagers. And I'm thinking, wow, I have so many things to write. Okay, I have, I have to come up with a part two for, uh, you know, of that of the um, 30 days affirmations and when it's ready, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll let you know. This, These are so beautiful. All the verses that we've been coming across is very beautiful. I encourage you to get into the word and be encouraged, my dear sister. Be encouraged, all right? Be rest assured that God will never leave you to walk through life alone. You're never going to walk through life alone. Look at what 43 verse 2 says. It says, when thou pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not over, overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Why? Because God is never going to leave you. We never walk alone. Whoever is with God never walks alone. There's so many scriptures here, so many. If we continue, I'm sure I'm going to stay till the next day, all right? <laughs> so finally, God has formed you you for himself. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21. It says, okay, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21. It says, this people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise, my job, okay, why I'm created. I'm created to show forth his praise. You're created to show forth the praises of God. You're formed for his purpose. You're formed for himself. You're formed for God's pleasure. That is beautiful. God had us in mind. We're in his thought when he was making us. Okay, so we're not just random um, production, okay, of, of um, your dad and your mom. No, we're not just products of, um, of one night thing. No, 
we are and we were in his thought. Okay, God formed us intentionally, purposefully. That is wonderful. And we are made to give praises. We are created to give him praises. Hallelujah. Thank you for, for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, do take care. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment and let's know how this has been a blessing to you. God bless you.